here we are. Yes, the purple throne, the purple throne is still here. You know, for Prince. Remember we said that like, you know, Prince born on the seventh, so like seven days, well, it be six, whatever, seven days before, seven days after. We're in the middle of it, something like that. You know, almost at the end of the celebration of Prince. But guess what? I might keep this. No, I don't know. I'll see what happens with this. Anyway, which reminds me, see, the reason why I'm talking now, because let me tell you what happened. Let me tell you what happened. See, I have um, several playlists on my channel. And let me put this right. The one that really matters is the interview one. If you're listening to me with, with, with my, with, with what I'm saying, then I don't, you know, the channel. You see, because this is, this thing whole started with YouTube and stuff like that. Because all I was doing was chronicling, it's like a memoir, chronicling my 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 life. <laughs> let's put let's put it that way. Um, that's how it started out. Like when I started in 2014, actually we started with uh, Alambe Brass funeral. I wasn't at the funeral. I was uh, I was in, I was in yeah I was in South Africa, and so uh, I did a whole two support thing, and it, that started the whole thing. It went to many alliterations, me playing different characters, and so that's what's happened. But uh, but but like I said, I to, so I'm starting a new thing. Yeah. Purple Trons, there we go. I'm starting a, another thing, uh, which is, uh, I was going to call it my reading corner, something like that, book corner. I forgot what I was going to call it. But I think I'm going to call it something else, and I don't remember what it is now right now. Okay. Mm. Lemonade. We're in the South. Lemonade. I told you this. Nothing but lemonade, cane sugar, whatever. But it's not as sweet as, um, like, sweet tea of the South. So I'm not really into that sweet stuff. Because as you know, as you may or may not know, you got to get rid of all that sugar and that salt that's interrupting your, your, the taste, you know, the taste. Like for instance, I give you that. And my sister, um, she's on this really healthy. So she made um, oatmeal this morning. Now usually I put uh, maple syrup in my oatmeal or maybe some sugar. But she just put raisins in it. So I had it that way and I, I like it that way. Raisins in it like that. And that's the other thing. I'm, but, See, when somebody's doing something around you, you know, like, like, like she's doing this, she's whole healthy counting or whatever, carbs, whatever they count. I don't actually have to do that. But so I want to support her. You know, she take her walk. She has a, uh, another woman friend come walk with the neighborhood. But she does, if she's not doing that with her, then I support and I walk with her in the neighborhood, you know, in a little three miles. I do. No, I don't look at her. Okay. Hmm. What happened? Uh, so I was doing this other thing on um, this town in Mexico. That uh, got rid of their their police force, their politicians, and the gangsters all at one time, and their whatever. So I put that in it because of all this police stuff. But when I was um, uh, recording it, I was talking about this this place is famous for hammocks that they make, well, this that area. And I had bought this beautiful blue hammock. I was looking around for the color, all of you know, the color, and I realized this was the color right here. This was the color of the hammock. This blue right here, beautiful, vibrant like that. And then I said, Oh wait a second, 1969. Then I thought, I'm sorry, then I thought. Hey, isn't this Black Music Month? I, I know it is Black Music Month. I know you could call that something else like what? Purple Gay Pride Month. Hey, do you realize? <laughs> okay, gay, the the, the uh, you know they, they got the, the the flag with that. But they started with trying to do purple. Now purple is a royal color. Purple. This how you know, like the Vatican? No, Vatican. The Catholic Church. You know you can, the real purple you can get from like I think it's like. Uh, uh, Northwest Africa is where it really started from. Like with, with the incense and all that stuff. Anyway, Northwest Africa. But it's a really rare thing to get whatever have you. In fact, the first, first thing I saw with purple like that was um, uh, uh, Grace Grace Jones. You know what I mean? And she dealt with purple. I don't know. Don't worry about it. Anyway. So I think it's Black Music Month. Wow. We should say something about that. You know? Especially when we look at 19... 19 what year is that? 1969. 1969. Let me tell you what happened in 1969. Well, the end of 1969. Well, I was going into Air Force in like uh, in January of the next year. So basically, okay, look, I was like, how, much, how old was that? I was 19 years old. Well, it was that time and whatever happened. So I was totally uh, altered state. <laughs> For almost a month from the time I knew I was going to the Air Force. Oh, yeah. So that included, uh, you got like New Year's, New Year's, New Year's Eve, and whatever have you. Well, let me tell you what happened. I used to, okay, let me go back. Um, in 19, I started Negro Ensemble Company in 1967. That was down in say, like St. Mark's, called St. Mark's Place, right? Well, down there, where they had a thing called Fillmore, Fillmore East. And I used to, now you remember, this is, I used to go all the time. 
Now, because I was going to Negro, I was, coming, I, was, I was all around the village, so I was used to that. But a lot of black people wasn't hanging out, you know, in the East Village that way. They didn't call it East, or whatever they call that. They wouldn't town in the East Village that way. I mean, I saw all kinds of musical actors. That's why I saw Laura Nero. Laura Nero is, is responsible for me starting to write poetry. You look up, well, she's, well, she's, she's, Laura Nero had a black card. Let's put it that way. She's folk singing, whatever have you. But she was like friends with, with, um, with uh, Patti LaBelle. Um, she, she was like really, but hey, but she had the soulful stuff. In fact, let me tell you the best thing that happened. Okay, this is great. This is great. Blue. Okay. You know, Richard Nixon had a vice president called Spiro Agnew. Oh, just as a fun fact, side note, you no, know, when they wanted to get rid of, when they knew they knew that uh, Nixon was leaving, you know what they did with Agnew because he was a criminal. I mean, they, everybody knew he was a criminal. They actually jettisoned him out of the situation and put um, Gerald Ford as vice president. So when Nixon had to resign, it was Ford that became president. Okay, check it out. Then Ford got Nelson Rockefeller. So at, at at this point in American history, you had the vice, the president Gerald Ford and the vice president Nelson Rockefeller both were unelected. Oh, don't you just love America? You had two unelected, huh? Think about it. Anyway, back to the point. So what happened with Lord, um, they, they, cause Agnew was such a, he's like, he's like the Republican. He's like, he's like Pence without, without the religion or whatever. Anyway, so they asked him about the, cause the whole anti woman and they asked him cause for the black thing. He said, well, you know, what black groups do you listen to? You know? And so, you know, so he, he said, um, what's the, what's the, up, up and away in your beautiful balloon. That group, right? Well, they got, as soon as they got wind of that, they went and immediately, because they had done the Laura Nero song, they immediately went into the studio. I mean, it was like, like with a two-week turnaround, or maybe less than that, they recorded Save the Country. I think it was, yeah, Save the Country. Anyway, Friends of Distinction, that's what, whatever, you know, uh, you know, the, 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 the last... That's like, you know, they're nice, jolly, you know, to see black people smiling. But they went and recorded Save the Country. Do you listen to us? Check this out. And so, basically, <laughs> that was it's interesting. You can do things. This is interesting. I mean, I think that people, they say, stay in your lane. Or they say, this purpose is no for them. But, you know, you can turn somebody. You know, all these people that, that are, uh, 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 what the, they call it cooning, whatever, they, whatever they're doing. You're not being just uh, putting, putting black people, putting their black brothers and sisters on the back burner. But how do you know that sometimes that person might change overnight? <laughs> it goes, right? Anyway, back to the point. So, so, so Black History Month. So, um, uh, so anyway, I went, uh, uh, that was New Year's Eve. Uh, it was, was, what was it? I think it was either the, it was like the day, the night before New Year's Eve and New Year's Eve, Eve there were uh, Jimi Hendrix's that feel more East, right? Well, it wasn't. It was the band of gypsies. I like it before for that. Now, most at that time, nobody what they say. Nobody black people were not into Jimmy Hendrix. I knew about Jimmy Hendrix only because, like, about 1967, whenever his album Experience came out, of course, I was in my fraternity, and uh, and James Cook, who's you know Cook, who's like uh, the, uh, one of the founders of the fraternity, the music guy, he ran the, the, the you know the, the drum of bugle call, you know the the you know the, the drum bugle call, the the kid call, drum bugle call, menacing, whatever it was. Anyway, he put, we, we were all the brothers, we, we were at his place, you know, we were just chilling, whatever. And he came in, he's coming in later, something like that. He came in and had this album and said, this is it, <laughs> or whatever, whatever he said. I got to ask Buddy what it is. It's my brother, Buddy, but he'll tell me what exact words were. Anyway, or maybe Cook is still around. I got to see Cook. I got to talk to Cook. Anyway, that's what he said. Okay. So I knew about Jimmy Hendrix. Man, you know, I was, Jimmy Hendrix, yeah, 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 yeah. Who I was interested in, because you know, the band of Gypsy, that was, was basically Jimmy Hendrix, gonna, that was going to be his black man. Like, uh, this was, anyway, shortly after that, he passed. But I was going to see it, not for Jimmy Hendrix, but for Buddy Miles. <laughs> That's why I really like Buddy Miles. I was going to see it for Buddy Miles. So I actually, one of the few people on earth that has seen Jimmy Hendrix when he was with the band of Gypsies. It was, um, I forgot the other brother's name on it. Anyway, just now. Okay. So that's, that's Black History Month. But when I was also director for WBAI, I also was the first uh, liberation of the Black Rock Coalition. It's an organization out of New York. New York. Well, I sat on that. You know, I had some sort of, because of us, because I was um, at BAI because of music. I was into. Uh, I was. A, I guess we called the music director. Yeah, but it's also it's music director, including, including music. Uh, Anyway, I, I was on the board of the original Black Rock Coalition. But also when I was arts director, we had to do, we did a benefit for WBA at the Roadhouse. I forget what, I think that used to be 
um, I think it used to be with Studio 54 was somewhere. There's something, in, you know, in uh, the west side of, uh, not the west, right off of 8th Avenue, whatever it is, not 8th Avenue, 7th Avenue, where it is, in New York. And so because I was art director, I had, I, uh, I uh, was doing a benefit. So I basically um, got the groups, like, I got groups, I forget what the third group was, but I had a Black Rock Coalition Orchestra, which at that time on bass was S. Michelle De 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 Cello, right? You know, young, you'd be shoes like, you know, like that. A uh, bunch of people, uh, that's where, um, I think, uh, uh, Mac, uh, all, uh, that's a bunch, I can't even remember, it's long, so long ago. But also, that was one group the orchestra played. Then another group uh, that I got was this Irish group called Black 47. I really love those guys. Black 47, they were incredible. I guess they're still around. Because uh, they had, one of the guys they had was a bag, they, they also had bagpipes in the band. It was played by this, this cop. I think it was a cop at the time, but he retired. And it was this cop, right? So, which brings a lot of things in. And I forgot who the third group was. It must have been because I was very so-called diverse, you know, because the Black Rock Coalition had uh, this Irish band. I forgot who the other people were. I'm sorry. It may have been a folk kind of thing. I don't know. Um, so, 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 so I've always been involved with the... So I, my, my June means Black History Month. <laughs> I mean, Black Music Month. That's what it means, you know? Isn't that something? Think about it. Prince is born on June 7th in Black History Month. I guess it was Black History Month when he started. And he died. Prince was such amazing. He was a, the concept musician. He died at the age of, what, 47? I'm sorry, 57? Which supposedly would be the mean age for a musician to die. I mean, in other words, Prince was a perfect, like a perfect musician, if you want to say that. Lifestyle, everything, da 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 for his age and all the rest of that stuff. But let's not stay with him. I just want to say, say you know, well, it's Black, black Music Month, you know? Hey, so enjoy yourself. Here's some black music, right? I just saw, what did I, what did I listen to? Oh, Mm. It doesn't matter. Find your own black music. Celebrate black, black music month. And guess what? You can still be other things and still celebrate <laughs> black music month, right? It's just that, like everything black, people just like to jump on our stuff and just overtake it. Whew. I'm surprised we still have Black History Month. Well, then again, that's a short month, so what can we say? So anyway, that's just a, I have to say, acknowledge Black Music Month because I, well, I don't watch TV and stuff like that, but I. I guess I'm not looking for all that stuff, right? Anyway, that's just a little, little um, tidbit, a little, you know, history, whatever it is, uh, from me, T, from the Patterson Signal Train to Tibet, letting you know what I definitely suspect.